Hi students, how are you all there? So now we are going to the second part of integers. Thank you for watching this video. Now let's quickly go through the chapter. Okay, now previously this is what I taught you in lesson 1. Alright, number line. So I have already clearly said about what are positive integers, negative integers and at the middle is what? Z? Zero. zero. Okay. So, as you move to the right, the value increase, increases. As you move to the left, the value decrease, decreases. Kalau kamu bergerak ke sebelah kanan, nilainya semakin mening, meningkat, bertambah. Kalau you bergerak ke sebelah kiri, nilainya semakin berku, berkurang. Faham ya? Okay, bagus. Now, I want you to concentrate here. I want to introduce you some signs. These signs are called as inequalities. Inequal, inequalities. What is inequalities? In Bahasa Melayu kita panggil apa? Ketaksama, ketaksamaan. Yaitu ada tanda seperti ini, ada tanda seperti ini, ada tanda seperti ini, ada tanda seperti ini. Kamu kena tahu empat tanda ini. Tanda ini bermaksud apa? Kamu tengok dekat depan ni mulut terbuka besar betul tak? Maksudnya lebih besar dari pa. Daripada Dalam bahasa Inggeris Is what? Bigger Bigger than Bigger than Yang ni nampak tak? Mulutnya ke Kecil Seolah-olah tertutup Betul tak? So ini dipanggil apa? Lebih kecil daripada Lebih kecil daripada Less than Less than Okay Yang ni nampak tak? Mulut terbuka besar Ada bawah satu lagi garis Ini maksudnya apa? Lebih besar atau sama da sama dengan Lebih besar atau sama da Dengan Bigger than or e equal Bigger than or equal Yang ni pula kamu nampak tak? Dia punya mulutnya tutup kecil betul tak? Smaller than Ataupun less than or equal Less than or equal Lebih kecil daripada atau sama da Sama dengan So ada empat tanda ini Now Mari kita perhatikan di sana Okay Empat adalah Lebih besar daripada satu Atau lebih kecil daripada satu Lebih besar, lebih besar. Nampak tak? Four is greater than one Mengapa? Kalau kita tengok di sini Number nine Empat ada di sini Satu ada di sini Semakin ke kanan kita bergerak Nilainya semakin menjadi lebih ber besar So four is greater than one Are you clear now? Now balik semula kepada sini sekarang Okay Negative 3 And negative 2 Nampak tak? Now, is negative 3 greater than negative 2 or smaller? Okay, kalau you tengok biasanya You tengok 3 dan 2 Kalau you tengok 3 dan 2 Apa yang you boleh perkatakan? 3 adalah lebih besar daripada 2, betul tak? Yes Tapi untuk negative Terbalik Kalau ada tanda negative Lebih besar nombor itu nilainya lebih ke? Kecil, dia terbalik I repeat For negative number Can you see a negative sign here? Yes And can you see another negative sign here? Yes. So if you compare two negative number The bigger the number, the smaller the way yes. yes So negative 3 is less than negative 2 Now let's take a look at the number line Number line Can you see negative 3 here? Can you see negative 2 here? Alright Can you see that I move to the left hand side The value becomes smaller So negative 3 is less than negative 2 You understand what I am trying to tell you now? So you got to understand Kalau kita mengambil nombor biasa positif Nombor positif Lebih besar nombor itu lebih kecil Lebih besar nilainya Saya ulang The bigger the number, the bigger the value But for negative number If you compare two negative number Pelajar-pelajar sekalian The bigger the number, the smaller the value Dia terba terbalik Dia songsang kepada positif now Number. It is opposite to a positive no? number. Okay. On the other hand, five and negative nine. All right. Now you don't look at five and you don't look at nine and say that nine is bigger than five. Kamu tidak boleh kata di sini sembilan lebih besar daripada lima. Tak boleh. You kena tengok ini nombor positif. Di sini nombor neg negative. Negative. Jadi pastinya nombor positif mesti lebih besar daripada nombor neg. 
Always a positive number must be bigger than a negative num number. Why? You look here. Positive number is over this side. Negative number is over this side. So, when I move along the number line, when I move along the number line, the more I move to the right hand side, the greater the value, value of the number. Alright? So, apabila saya bergerak sepanjang garis nombor, nombor yang ada di sebelah kanan, nilainya lebih, ber, lebih besar. So, 5 ada di sebelah sini, negatif 9 ada di sebelah sini. Jadi, of course, 5 mempunyai nilai yang lebih besar daripada negatif 9. Are you all clear now, student? I hope you understand this comparison that I am showing you. This is very important for you to understand before we proceed further. Alright? Thank you, students.